Are you serious? <coughs> <coughs> Don't tell nobody I'm coughing, but President Barack Obama has just signed a new executive order which gives him gives power uh, for Americans to be detained under the respiratory any type of respiratory illness, you can be detained if they think if authorities think you may have Ebola. What? Well, this, I mean, listen to this. As the Ebola outbreak continues to cause concern, President Barack Obama has signed an amendment to an executive order that would allow him to mandate the apprehension and detention of Americans who merely show signs of respiratory illnesses. Now, the executive order is titled Revised List of Quantitable Communable Diseases Amends Executive Order 13295. Say it with me. 13295. One more time. 13295. Executive Order. Passed by George W. Bush back in April 2003, which gave authorization and apprehension and detention or conditional release of individuals to prevent the introduction, transmission, or spread of suspected communicable diseases. Now, the amendment, so in other words, they can quarantine you against your will if they suspect you might have certain diseases and that now President Obama has amended that bill to include Ebola. Now the amendment signed by Obama replaces section B of the original Bush executive order which referred only to SARS. That's the only thing you could be detained to. You could be detained only if you had SARS. Obama's amendment allows for the detention of Americans who display severe acute respiratory syndromes, which are diseases that are associated with fever, signs of symptoms of pneumonia, or other respiratory illnesses are capable of being transmitted from person to person, and that either are causing or have the potential to cause uh, a pandemic or upon infection, highly likely to cause morality, excuse me, mortality, or serious uh, disease properly controlled. Now, what the Obama amendment is to Executive Order 13295 is it adds to what was already passed. Uh, it repla it's basically adding to just SARS with any kind of acute respiratory infection or coughing or fever or symptoms of pneumonia. Here's the problem I have with that. You can't make it that broad. You can't give uh, police officers the authority to detain people because they got a bad cough. They're not medical doctors. They don't have the ability. They haven't, there's not been any blood test taken. You can't just look at someone and say, I believe you got Ebola. You can't just do that. I mean, this has to be uh, this has to be diagnosed by a physician, but not under Executive Order One Three Two Nine Five, which I'm holding in my hand it, from the from the CDC. All right, you do not have to have a doctor's um, uh, diagnosis. It can just be if it's suspected that you might have Ebola. So we have a panic going on. Guess who's panicking? You know what? It's amazing to me. The federal government's always concerned about people panicking. Yet the only people I ever see panicking is the government itself. What? And I don't believe they're panicking. I believe they use every crisis. Remember what Rahm Emanuel said. Remember Rahm Emanuel? He's the mayor of Chicago. Well, he used to be the chief of staff. For President Barack Obama, he sat right there in the White House and he made this proclamation. Remember, he said, never let a good crisis go to waste. Use those opportunities to broaden into the lives of the American people, to overreach into their lives, to create the things that they do. So don't be coughing, don't be, don't be spitting, don't be coughing, don't be gapping for air. You might find yourself 
in a FEMA camp near you. Are you serious? We'll talk about it there in my live broadcast. Don't miss it. Starts at 12 noon Eastern. Are you serious?